No, I'm not going to do the green again. Hi. Hi, everyone. Good evening. I hope you're having a happy Tuesday. This is Esther at Stampin' Star Creations. My regular slot is a Tuesday at nine o'clock. So welcome. Welcome aboard. Nice to see you. Do come on in. Come and chat if you live. Um, it's always nice to have people chatting along. You might be one of these people that lurk in the background normally, but today you might want to pop out and say hello. So welcome. This channel is all about crafting and paper crafting and using Stampin' Up! products to create some lovely things. And it's a lovely sense of community spirit around here. So please do join in and be friendly with one another. Make some new friends and just join the ride. So today I was this close to having a last minute change of heart and doing something else. But I thought, no, no, don't do it. I'm not prepared to do anything different. So stick with the plan. <laughs> so I'm going to be playing with hippos instead tonight. So hippos, you might have seen them around. So they are due to come out in our July catalogue. But being a demonstrator, we get to see it earlier, which is always rather exciting. So I'm going to... Let's, um, I've not got my other device, so I'm just going to whiz through the names. Turn you around and then we'll get started. Get the party started. Hi Valerie. Hi Sally, Joe and Wendy. Hi Margaret and Cindy and Ellie. Hi Anne. Oh, it's frosty where Anne is. It's me sweltering in the heat. Hi Tracy. Hi Valerie and Darlene. Hi Darlene. Hi Cheryl and Susan. Hi Stamping Hands. Hi. <laughs> oh, it's not pixelating already, is it? Are you serious? Are you serious with me right now? This is why I could really do with another device. Sometimes it clears itself up. If I keep talking, it might clear up. Hi, Alice. Welcome. Do shout if this is anybody's first time on the live. And you should get a warm welcome from our regular viewers. What's this? Oh, it's mine. <laughs> it's the strap from my phone. I hope it gets better as we go along. Yeah, so do I. I'm on like 1% on my other device. So it's, let me know if it's uh, still been a nuisance. Sorry, I'm chucking you guys around a bit. I don't think this other light's working. Oh, it's working. Good. Oh, please welcome Alice, everybody. Um, do you want to let us know what country you're coming in from, Alice? I didn't prepare any more water. So, <laughs> I just used my stamperators to bung on some stamps, but I'm going to have to take them all off again now. So, a top tip that I like to do is get yourself a big block and just stick them somewhere safely. Okay, so I wanted to do um, the, a mirror imaging with the stamperators, and every time I do it, I get a little bit confused. So, I've written down some tips. So, I was watching... Oh, no, her name's going to go now, isn't it? Liz Yule from St Old Stable Craft, I think she is. And was it Liz? No, it wasn't Liz Yule. It was, oh, botherations. I'm going to have to look it up and post it afterwards. And anyway, this person was <laughs> showing how to do it. And so I've written myself some notes. So the idea is I want these two images here of the hippos. Um, so, sorry, let me, okay, backtrack, backtrack. Hippi Hippist Hippos is going to come out in July and it's a free stamp set that could be, um, you can get as a, for a qualifying order of a £45 spend, okay? So it's not available now, but you can get your hands on it um, soon if you'd like it. Oh dear, my words are just not coming out today. <laughs> I don't know what's happened. <laughs> I'm going to cut down a scrap piece of paper to the same size as my my layering paper, which is always the same, three and seven eighths by five and five eighths of an inch. And then because I want this mirror image and I want to help myself get the two images um, just touching, I'm going to fold this paper in half like so. And this is going to act as a guide, OK? And then I'm going to open it up again. So I'm going to pop it in my 
it's time process. And you don't want to go right to the edge of the machine, of the device, or not a machine or not a device, uh, because when you come to stamp, you can't get enough pressure right around the edges, okay? So I'm going to pop on my magnets and let me just follow my instructions. So scrap paper, fold in half. So far, so good. Um, now, oh, I think I've missed out a step. Okay, so we're going to line up our hippo and I want the I think I want the feet and the hand, not quite the hands, because I don't think that'll fit. Okay, we're gonna put, can you see that? I'm gonna position our hippo into there. And I'm just going to squash that down. And it picks it up because there's got a nice clingy sticker. Okay. And then we're going to stamp our first image. I think I've done it wrong already. But we'll go with it. Okay, so there's our first image. Then we're going to get our I think I move this out. I think that's right. Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, we're gonna. <laughs> I don't think I needed to do that bit. Anyway, right, now we're gonna bring in the silicone mat, which you can use for gluing, but you can also use it for this method as well. And then we're going to ink up our hippo. And I'm going to ink up the mat, the silicone mat. Sorry if I'm missing comments, I will come back to you in a sec. I just need to concentrate or else this will just all go bottoms up. So let's just give it a good old inkage, like so. And then you take your silicone mat off, you bring back your paper, Oh, I've done it wrong. What have I done? You flip the card over. That's right. Okay. What have I done wrong? Flip card over and move silicone mat. Oh, what have I done? I knew this would happen. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to cheat. Do it like this. Where have I gone wrong? You'll probably all be screaming at me. So stamp onto the mat as card and stamp again. I think I've done it the wrong way around. But there you go. There's your mirror image. So I wanted to make sure that the card was in the right place. So let's bring on a piece of card and see if I can read my writing. Stamp on silicone, then we add to the card, right? Stamp on the silicone. Let's try that again. Stamp on the silicone. Oh, I know what I've done wrong, I think. <laughs> I think. So. Stamp on the silicone, and then you're supposed to put your card in here. And then you just use the stamp to put apply pressure onto that image, okay? So we're not wanting this side. We're wanting this side. Okay, I'm getting somewhere. So then now that we've got it on the mirror image, okay, <laughs> this is working. <laughs> oh dear. Right, in the meantime, I'm going to try and call your comments up. And then this guy is going to go on this side. Yay, round of applause, please. Ladies and gentlemen, we have mirror image hippos. Yes. Phew. <laughs> Thank you, Sally Jo, cheerleading me on from the side. I'm just going to put that out of the way now. Uh, I got there in the end, didn't I? I should just trust what my own writing says, but I was like, no, that doesn't make sense. No, no. <laughs> Why 
Why is it when I come and look for some scrap card, it's never quite big enough? I got this whole tub of scrap white and it's never quite big enough. Now I thought, uh, Mrs. Hippo here. Oh, was she squash on? I think so. Let's just risk it for a biscuit. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I can hear the applause now. <laughs> Just trying to catch up and see if I've missed any comments. Hi, everybody that I've missed. Good to see you. Just shout if it's your first time. Oh, look, I've gone blobbed it on there already. Never mind. Right, well, I think I want to die cut this hippo, so I'm going to stamp it on a separate piece. There we go. And so these die cut shapes. Um, come with a, what am I saying, come with a, um, oh, £45 purchase as well, so you can buy them separately, oh. so she's dancing, she's dancing, that was the right one, and then I think I'll cut out a brolly, and do you know what, I'm just going to do everything on white, because... Why not? We just colour it in whatever colour you want then. So that and I think I want the party hat. Okay, so ideally we want the little machine and a desk. There we go. So this is the mini, and there's a, also a, I'll say a maxi. <laughs> there's, a, there's a big one also to match, but this is perfect for desk size cutting. Um, so we just pop them in there like so. Good morning, Vicky. I don't think my comments are quite catching up. My phone's still half asleep. Ah, oh, Cheryl. Cheryl says, I'm glad to finally have a day at home where I can catch a live. Um, I've had physical therapy most often is for pinched nerves. Oh, they're affecting my hands, having a hard time stamping and card making. Oh, Cheryl, ouchie. Is that like carpal tunnel or is that something else? Monica says, my voice is so soothing. Monica, you're very kind. <laughs> I love seeing all of your talent, bless you. I don't think it's very soothing, but if I can soothe you and lull you and read your bedtime story and just not speak so rushed and calmly, we can get through this together. <laughs> oh, I like the fact that people think my voice is smoothing. S smoothing? Soothing. I think I'm, sometimes I get used to it and then sometimes when I hear it I'm like oh do I sound like that but then I don't know anybody that doesn't think of that about their voice so there you go I think I was particularly conscious of my voice when I was younger so that's why if anyone compliments it now I'm like really are you sure sure you sure about that <laughs> oh my goodness these glasses are just so cute the little accessories that come with this just darling Gonna have some fun with this. Okay, I'm gonna cut colour these like little black glasses. I keep not wanting to colour on my paper. This is my scrap piece. I'm gonna do like a little black pair of specs. You could just cut it out of black paper, but oh, do you know what would have been cute is if I left like a little white bit in the bit middle for like a little bandage. That would have been cute, but can I just, I've got to test it out. Oh my word, how cute is that? <laughs> That's just the sweetest. So can you guess where she's going to go? These guys have lifted her up in the air. She's like, oh, look at me, I've got my umbrella. And this guy's like, yeah, we're at the party. I just thought, let's have a look. Hmm, Esther's thinking. <laughs> Do you know what? He doesn't look like a guy like that, so I'm going to cut out 
another Matt called it a pizza I'm gonna cut out another pizza because I think it's supposed to be a party hat but like you should know from now these aren't just what you see they're shapes you can translate shapes <coughs> No, I've got a little ah this comes from the glasses maybe we can use that okay stop fiddling us to get a move on uh we want to colour these guys in let me move this up that way and I saw this really cool tip that Wendy from Wendy from Woo's Creations shared um on a Facebook live which so it's probably coming to her YouTube channel very soon about doing a little tutu for, for her so I might do that in a minute uh, let's get colouring. Let's see what we've got here. Flirty Flamingo. I'm just going to colour in her little tutu so that if it does show through, then she's got a little bit of decency, a bit of cover up. Hi there, Shirley. Hi, everybody. Nice to see you. To see you nice. And then she's going to have a little more pink. Ballet slippers on. I think what we can do is she can be like a different colour. Um, hmm, where's my. This is Smoky Slate. I've not coloured her in yet. Maybe we're a bit of. So the more you go over, the darker your colour will be because it lays down that colour. Very forgiving, which is rather helpful. I feel like I need to do her face a different colour and her body, but I don't know. It's very cute, isn't it? Oh, I've just coloured in her body. Oh, well, let's just... Oh, am I running out? I'm running out, folks. I think I've got a new one somewhere. Oh, let's just use the fat end for now. I do feel like I know it should be a different colour, but do you know what? The sake of time. Oh, oh my goodness. It's sad that we can't read for our alcohol, Marcus says Judy. Yes, indeed. Right, I'm gonna copy what um Wendy did. Should have chosen a different colour for her skirt. Might just colour that over so it's a different pink. Sorry. What colour is this? Polished pink. Okay, so Wendy used she used her her stamp and silver. I'm gonna try would plus work. Let's try. So she rolled the tape on to where the skirt would be. Oops, lifting my thing up. So what happens when you try going backwards. And then she did this kind of ruching. With the ribbon. And sort of stick it as you go. Kind of jobby. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? Has anybody else got this stamp set? It's rather adorable. Definitely needs more. Oh, it's peeling it off. Don't peel it off, stick it on. She's a glue dot. Da da dee, da da dee, da da dee. Yeah, totally stealing this idea from 
from Woo's Creation. So go and check out her channel. She does great. Um, Wendy, are you here? Speak up if you are. Um, she does some great scene building cards. Oh my goodness, I'm getting myself all in a little mess with my little blue dot. Stay. You know you wanna. Stay. Oh, and then she tucked it under. Let's try. Seeing what we can do with this little skirt. I might even tuck it around the back if necessary. <laughs> oh, look. Hello, you little darling. Okay, there she is. Right. Let's um, colour in her fancy umbrella. And there's these little embossed lines that are actually on the umbrella. I know the tutu is just so cute, isn't it? Under my umbrella. There we are. Hi, Leah. Oh, there's Wendy. Thanks for the fab idea, Wendy. Okay, I think I might just have to sort this out. But I'm not going to spend ages faffing. So she's got her brawly. There. I didn't even think about the background, I was just more concerned about the, the hippos. <laughs> okay, so let's have a little thinky about these hippo. Uh, Hippopotami, uh, what colour is this? Dark smoky. So I want these guys to be, I don't know if this is too dark, no this is good. Let's just get this coloured, do you know what? Sometimes. Just got to get the colour down. How's everyone's day been? Let me know if you've been up to anything exciting or not. <laughs> Just let me know how you are. I'm interested to find out. Interested to know if you've been crafting or making something else. I did fancy doing him in another colour, but I think we better stick to the dark. We could give him like a little bit of a hairstyle. little quiff. <laughs> oh dear. Can you guys see? Is, I think I'm coming through a bit clearer. Okay. And this guy can have a little mohawk thing going down. Bit of speedy colouring. There we go, right. I can do a little bit of shading on there. So just give it a chance because the colours do uh, sort of calm down. Uh, Cindy's foxtail is still working. She's got one hour to go. Let's help her pass that hour, shall we? Oh, look at this guy. He's just so cute. Um, Sally Jo's been making pens with teeny books hanging from them. 
Oh, that is cute, Sally Jo. I'd love to see those. And everyone has been home with a bit of a bad back. Oh, no. She's getting it at it tomorrow. Oh, I saw your amazing card. I need to go back and comment on that. Check out Navarana's card on Facebook if you're friends with her. She did a pop-up dragon. It was amazing. Hi, Frederic. Uh, Shelley's been enjoying the summer solstice. And Galena says, twin hippos. <laughs> okay. I thought I'd like... Um, I'd almost like them to be like on stage or something. Which is totally stealing Wendy's idea. Uh, they could be on grass, I suppose. We could do grass. Now, let's have a think. Let's just use this. Okay, I've got a bit of grass going on. An outside show, you know. Now somebody still hasn't returned my border dies. <laughs> so I have to make sure I get those. Um let's see what else I've got. What else is in the set? There's nothing else in there, is there? Oh uh do I have let me just have a little think. Um, somebody, dee, 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 dee. Are these little flowers on here. Maybe we put some flowers, possibly. Um, Bear with please, just looking through to see if I've got anything suitable. Oh, 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 what have we here? We could use some little clouds. Now, do I have some cut out? That would just be really sensible if I did, wouldn't it? No, that's too sensible. <laughs> right, let's cut some quick clouds and some flowers. You carry on, I'm not selfish, says Wendy. I like to share. Hi, Mindy. Late, but how cute are these hippos? I know. Even if you didn't like hippos, like, you can't ignore the cuteness. <laughs> okay, that bit of ribbon is really bugging me. I'm going to have to fix that. Oh, Alice, that's so kind of you. Thank you for your super chat. Very kind indeed. I do appreciate all the support I get on my channel, be it through chat or monetary support. So thank you so much. Right, I'm going to stick these to my magnetic thing me so it doesn't get lost. Technical name, you know. Oh man. It is warmy, warmy. I think just like a couple of flowers in the background. And we'll do some. I could do with this uh, sun, couldn't I? I was going to use. This for my. Oh, let's just try it and do it and see what happens. Oh, come on, yellow. It's got stuck.
to reckon? Is it one and a half inches? We'll soon find out. Oh, Vicky, thank you so much. So I'm missing all the... Oh, it's afraid got to go. Take care, Shirley. Thanks for joining. Okay, I'll just, I'll just do that there. Helps if I actually stick it on the card. It's just as a bit of a guide. So these circle punches are now retired, but I've kept hold of mine because they're just quite handy to have in your stash. Just gonna lay down a bit of that blue. Oh, did I not? Uh, Turn my notifications off. There we go. There, perfect. Right, this guy needs his glass. I can't see what he's doing. Let's get some tweezer action on the go here. I think everything from now on is just going to get glasses. These are just too cute. Just had an idea. <laughs> oh dear. They're just adorbs. Adorable. Okay. Flowers, I'll do with you in a minute. Mustn't lose my glasses because I like those. Oh dear, look. Let's stick it to my. Magnetic sheet, okay. Got issues right at the end here. I might just stick that down out the way. <laughs> doesn't the tear and tape doesn't want to tear. Come on. Cooperate, please. Okay, let's see if we can do this guy's um, bow tie. It's a bit massive, but he's like a statement. He's like, hey, look at me and my big bow tie. Because that's how he talks. Uh, I think we'll do that black as well. You know, they're putting on a show, it's got to be. I know, I know, you're saying, why didn't you just cut it out in black? Because I use lazy like that tonight. <laughs> just tonight, not all the time. Just tonight. Because also, I might have decided that I wanted a different colour. And I hadn't decided yet, that's why. That's my reason, and I'm going to stick to it. Could do. I wonder if these will fit on the back. Teeny dimensional. It's like doll's house work. This <laughs> everything is like so miniature. Okay, just gonna hold that there a sec. I probably could have used black dimensionals, but never mind. How did you get the lighter grey in the hippo's tummies? I just didn't colour it as much. I used the same colour, but if you want the colour to be darker, you just keep colouring. So the darker bits is where I, I coloured some more, and the lighter bits is where I just went over it once. Thanks for your question, Shaz. Thank you, Miss Vicky, sharing my, my details. If you'd like to know about getting this stamp set for yourself, if you want to shop with me, if you want to join my team and become a demonstrator, very exciting. 
you have some good team meetings and get togethers and but you can do as little or as much as you want you know if you want to join the team but not you know you don't have to go live you don't have to do anything you don't have to have training you can just come along for the fun um, you don't have to do what I do it's not compulsory okay let's stick these clouds up as well so I think she's kind of like they've kind of thrown her up into the air for their hippo dance and we'll do some look they've thrown her so high she's reached the sky oh no nails the nails give up after a while <laughs> After sort of growing them and getting to a certain stage, they're like, no, no, no more. And they kind of give up and I have to cut them back. Hi, is that Annie joining? You've been watching Sleeping Beauty on Ice. Oh, how exciting. Okay, I like the idea of three clouds. Okay. Uh, do you know what? I think I might stick with my colour palette. And we'll go. With pink flowers. Thank you, Andrea. She says, really cute. So I wonder if I can show you on these flowers. The more you colour, the darker the shade. And it dries really quickly because it's um, the alcohol markers. So if you just swipe it once, you get a lighter colour. But then if you keep adding on the colour, will give you, it sort of loads it up onto the paper, it's very clever. It's Fantasia come alive. Oh, I presume you talk about your sleeping beauty. And not my dancing hippos. <laughs> I was seriously going to pass the hippos, but the tutu is hard to pass up, says Mindy. I know, right? It's all about the tutu. It's all about the tutu, tutu. Do you know what? I'm not convinced about these flowers down there. I think it looks a bit odd. But in her hair... Oh, she's got a brolly. Totally forgot about the umbrolly. Umbrolly. How old am I? <laughs> she was going to have it in that hand, but... Um... That will help her float up into the sky. Yep, okay. It's a done deal, folks. Oh, I'm getting the crick in my neck from trying to work around my phone. <laughs> okay. It's super cute, says Janine. Thank you. <laughs> Gotta make her look really girly. Right, I'm going to st the umbrella or umbrolly or whatever you want to call it is super fragile, so super fragileistic. <laughs> Sorry. Oh dear, super fragile. I can't say the proper one there. Super. Anyway, so I'm going to put you there. Just be on the cloud. This is brilliant. It really makes me smile. Says Shaz. Oh bless you. There we go. Uh, draw a net or tightrope underneath her and it could be a circus. Ah, I've got another idea for a circus, one that I wanted to do. <laughs> but yes, you're right, it could be a tightrope walker. So we are going to pop her up on dimensionals in all her glory. Um, 
you'd think with like four scissors around I'd be able to find a pair, wouldn't you? Okay. <clears throat> I'm not going to scrimp on dimensionals because, because, uh, <laughs> just because. Okay, that bit's a little bit skew if still, but just bunch it up somewhat. And I feel like doing like little wiggle lines of her like jumping up into the sky. Um, who's stolen my wink? There you are. Nobody. I'll take it all back. Something is stopping my will to anything from my. Uh, oh, it's very sparkly. Put some sparkle into her shoes. A little bit in here somewhere. Just have a little bit of nail varnish. A little sparkly nail varnish. Okay, so um Esther's mind is still ticking. Hold on, hold on. Um oh dear, excuse me, sorry. We've got these tiny, teeny stars. Those are really cute. Okay, leave it. Step away, Esther. Step away. <laughs> Let's have a look. Super colour fragilistic. That's it. Expialidocious. <laughs> I hope you copied and pasted that rather than typing it in. I want to have, you know, like when your name's in lights or like that sort of thing, and they have those dots. I wonder if that little dot will go in the middle of her. It might be a bit big. Let's find out. There's only one way to find out. Why am I losing all my tools? Keep putting them in safe places. <laughs> it's really not helpful. Oh, go on then. Go on then. Uh, let's see what else. I think that will do, Donkey. I think that will do. <clears throat> right now, the deciding thing is what colour paper, what colour card. So, I think it needs to be on. Got some magenta here. Oh, it needs to be on polished pink. Have I got any polished pink? Can you polish pink? Yes, that's the one. Going all girly. Ben of Vein. Must play with mine tomorrow. Too cool, she says. Now, I think what I'd like to do is add a bit of black card as well. Let's see. And sit in the garden after this, and I am boiled. <laughs> Just a little smidge, I think. Yes, let's. And this side doesn't quite look. Let's see what size this is. Oh, it's right. Oh well. Let's just chop a bit off, chop a bit off. Ah, oh, hi Amanda. 
Um, she says, looks so cute. We'll watch replay. Thank you. Just going to guesstimate pretty much. Estimate, but also measure <laughs> at the same time. Yes, yes, classy, classy. Okay, I'm just going to gut my card. I don't bother measuring. Oh, <coughs> Excuse me. I just take too long. I just cut it. I just cut it and hope for the best. There we go. See, look, I can save all that. S O C, save, no, S, save, save our card. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, just makes it pop that right amount, doesn't it? So stick the back down. I could do is my silicone mat just to make sure I don't get glue everywhere. It's so handy. It's very cheap, very handy piece of kit, the silicone mat. And if you're doing messy work as well, it's great for colour mixing and you know there's more uses than just um, glue gluing, using it for glue. You catch my drift. Oh, slide over, slide over. Here we go. How cute. I feel like the guys need like, a pair of shoes on or something. <laughs> Get a bit carried away. There. Can you guys see that? A tutu is just like adorable. Love it. <laughs> oh, how cute. Um, I suppose you could put a sentiment on somewhere, but you know, this is the sort of card that you'd want to have up all year round. Well, I don't know, if you were me, maybe. <laughs> oh, so I need some, it needs a bit more sparkle in its life. Gonna just whack a bit of Winker Stella on it. You know, she's a showgirl after all, look at that. She comes with lots of glitter. That's better. Happy now. Just showered her in some glitter and sparkles. <laughs> oh dear. Thank you guys. It's a happy card, isn't it? Hap, hap, happy card. I'm a hap, hap, happy card. A happy hippo card. Now, the other thing I want to do is add like little googly eyes, but I don't think I have any. Anyway, sorry, I feel like I'm getting carried away. <laughs> That's way, where are we going? Why am I super zoomed in? Oh, am I going to be able to? I think it's me, I'm sat forward <laughs> on the chair. Hi. Oh, thank you everybody. It's so it's been a fun evening and I'm glad I made the hippo card. It's made me smile today. So if you do give this a go and you're on Facebook, then please do share it on my um, Facebook page, SSC, standing for Stampin' Star Creations, uh, SSC Inspired and Shared. So do share the love. You can share out my broadcast and you can share it to Pinterest. Facebook and you can I think you can share it on YouTube as well and it just really helps me to spread my roots onto YouTube so that'd be amazing thank you so much if you have super chatted tonight it's really kind of you to do that and I really appreciate that thank you Vicky for your admin support you're amazing and I really appreciate it so thank you particularly to Vicky for doing that for me nice to see you you can get hold of this stamp set 
if you want now if you join my team so do message me about that at stampingstylecreations at gmail.com and it's been so lovely to see you because i know you don't always get to catch my live so auntie g nice to see you uh, lovely to have your company everybody i'll be back god willing next week at the same time same place Let's see what other creations we can come up with together <laughs> vicky says i'll keep it on display once you've sent it to me <laughs> I think there might be a hint, do you reckon? <laughs> oh, take care, everybody. God bless. And hopefully I'll see you around very soon. Take care. Oh, um, just before I go, there is a video coming out on Friday with, oh, is it the Global Stamping? I think there's two coinciding. But the Global Stamping video hop and the Christmas Stampathon is coming out as well. I'm just going to quickly flash this card at you. I made that on Facebook today and I'll go and make sure that it goes up to, onto YouTube tomorrow. Okay, bye everyone. Bye Frederic. Thank you for coming. Take care. Bye.